you are unable to play Valorant because of the DirectX 11 feature level 10 is required error, then we know how to fix it. Simply watch this video till the end to learn how you can solve it. Hey, you're watching Silicophilic, where we help you solve tech issues. The DirectX 11 feature level 10 is required error basically appears when your system doesn't have DirectX 11 or more installed. It can also trigger if the installed DirectX files have gone missing or become corrupted. There are also other causes such as outdated windows or disabled VGC service. Here, we have shown the various methods you can use to fix this error. So watch till the end and try out all of them until the error is fixed. Before we get into the solutions, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now, let's jump into the solutions. Method 1. The first thing you need to do is download DirectX 11 and install it. Type DirectX on Google and open the Microsoft.com link which should be the top result. Click on the download option and wait for the download to finish. Run the installer after it downloads and follow the on-screen instructions to finish the installation process. Now, restart your PC. Method 2. Another thing you can do is try updating your Windows. Windows Updates also installs the latest versions of DirectX that your PC is lacking. Type Check for Updates in the search bar and select the top result. Now, click on the Check for Updates option and see if any update is available. Download the latest updates if available and install them. Restart your PC. After the PC restarts, check if Valorant is working correctly. Method 3. The next thing you can do is check if the Valorant Game Client service is working correctly. Press the Windows plus R keys to open the run command. Type services.msc and click on OK. Now, look for the VGC service and double click on it. The VGC properties will open. Click on the stop option and change the startup type to automatic. Select the Start option to restart the service. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Method 4. If the earlier solutions didn't work, try updating your graphics drivers. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type devmanagement.msc and press the Enter key. Expand display adapters and right click on the graphics drivers. Select update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers option. Follow the on-screen instructions. After the drivers are installed, 
restart your PC. So that's it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.